At 5, we're learning more about the apparent landlord-tenant dispute that shattered the peace of a Pasadena neighborhood and left three people dead. Hello everyone, I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Serene Branson. The accused gunman is in custody. He surrendered to authorities yesterday after opening fire on police and barricading himself inside a home. The shooting happened on Summit Avenue near East Penn Street. CBS 2's Art Barron is live in Pasadena with the details. Art. Well, Serene, uh, the suspected gunman John Smith is behind bars right now, but police say he fired more than 40 rounds from a semi-automatic rifle right behind me from this house here in Pasadena yesterday afternoon. But police are investigating what led to the shooting that left three people dead. He was a, a, a pillar here in the, in the San Elizabeth community. Carlos Aguiar at Sunday Mass, a day after his father, 91-year-old Luis Aguiar, and his 59-year-old sister, Maria, were shot dead at their house in this Pasadena neighborhood. As you can see here, everybody loved him. He was very important. It's like family for all of us. For decades, Luis Aguiar was closely associated with St. Elizabeth's Catholic Church in Altadena, even began the first Spanish-speaking Mass at the church. I mean, the um, senselessness of the tragedy, but at the same time, the faith that we have and that he had and communicated to so many uh, in this community. A third person, a good Samaritan whose identity is not known, was also shot dead trying to help one of the victims. You can see damage to one neighbor's house and another's vehicle from the barrage of gunfire. Two arriving officers were shot at but not hurt. What provoked the shooting is still not known. That's why I'm here to exactly what, find out what, what's going to happen. What, yeah. what happened? During their preliminary investigation, police tell us the shooting appears to have been the result of a landlord tenant dispute. But Carlos Aguiar believes it was domestic violence, and the suspected gunman, he says, was in a relationship with Carlos's sister. He lived in the, in the house with my sister. Uh, he was uh, her boyfriend. Two other people were injured. One was taken to the hospital with moderate injuries, the other treated at the scene. The suspected gunman, John Smith, surrendered to police and is being held on a million dollars bail. And tomorrow, Pasadena police will hold a news conference, at which time they plan to release the recordings of the 911 calls. That's the very latest. We're live in Pasadena, Art Barron, CBS 2 News. Art.